So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. And today I will show you how to uh, import the carbon monoxide data using Sentinel 5P image using Earth Engine. So let's get started. So this is a global climate changes uh, that is NASA's official site where you can able to view the car total carbon monoxide concentration of the globe. So we can able to view that the card color indicates highest concentration of carbon monoxide and uh, this, car, this color represents the lowest concentration. So carbon monoxide is, uh, is known for its lethal effect. So it has a home with the faulty airplanes or poor ventilations. So in the United States, the colorless or odorless gas kills about 430 people each year. So however, the importance of this carbon monoxide extends beyond our indoor environments or outdoor, the gas can disrupt our transport of an oxygen by blood and leading to uh, various heart related and health problems. So uh, to access this uh, carbon monoxide data in Earth Engine, let me show you that. So to import this carbon monoxide data, we're going to use Sentinel 5B image that is NRTICO that is near real time carbon monoxide near uh, real-time carbon monoxide data so to import this uh, data into earth engine so we have to start define a variable called collections double equals to image collection so we are using copernicus uh, sentinel 5p that is our sentinel 5p image nrti near uh, real-time carbon monoxide so ls co or co represents the carbon monoxide so in that we are specifically selecting the particular band called CO column number density. So that is our carbon monoxide. So to select that we define dot select CO column number density and to filter with the specific uh, time period we are using uh, the dot filter date 2019 2019 uh, June 1 to 2019 June 11. So next we have to we have to set up a visualization parameter for our layer. So to set a visualization parameter, we define a variable called variable called uh, band visualization. That is, vis band vis represents the band visualization. We are setting with a minimum value of zero to end to a maximum value of 0 0.05. And with the color palettes, we are using a set of color palettes to represent our carbon monoxide concentration in a, in Earth Engine. For that, we define the uh, colors like black, blue, purple, up to red. So here the red represents the highest concentration of carbon monoxide and black represents the lowest concentration of carbon monoxide. So now to add our add and center our layer in Earth Engine, we have to define this uh, map.add layer collection.mean. So here we are using a collection.mean because uh, we have our uh, time period that is ranging from 2019 uh, June 1 to uh, 2019 June 11. So in order to acquire a mean uh, mean image, that is from to acquire a mean image from uh, 1 to 11, June 1 to June 11, we are using uh, this particular function called collection.mean. So this will give us a single image from uh, ranging from all the images ranging from 1 to 11 of June. And we represent a band, uh, this represents a band visualization parameter. So here the band repres band this represents the band visualization parameter that is this variable and output the layer name as S5PCO that is Sentinel 5P carbon monoxide data. So now to center this uh, layer we define the map dot uh, set center 25 uh, comma 9 so we are specifying with our particular coordinate with the uh, zoom level. So to uh, run this code go to the option called uh, run script click run script so now let me run this code, go to the option called uh, run script, click run script. So now you can able to see the Sentinel 5P carbon monoxide data is being loaded into our earth engine. So now let us visualize it. So now we can able to clearly visualize this is the concentration of uh, carbon monoxide concentration of carbon monoxide uh, for entire globe so you can able to see that red color indicates the highest level of uh, red and yellow 
indicates the highest level of carbon monoxide concentration. So here you can clearly able to observe that a concentration of carbon, uh, carbon monoxide that is red indicates the highest level of carbon monoxide concentration and yellow is the second most uh, concentration of uh, carbon monoxide and green is the third most uh, highest level of concentration. So in that the particle of the car, very high concentration of carbon monoxide is observed here. Uh, let me uh, turn this la layer off. So here, so that is in, uh, in this Asian, uh, Asian parts, that is China um, and other parts, China, Mongolia, South Korea and uh, in this part has highest level of concentration and similarly and here so, so we have a highest concentration has been observed here let me check this places so that is india pakistan afghanistan and uh, thailand we can observe a con higher concentration of carbon monoxide and similarly here we can observe let us check this country so that is africa so there is highest level of carbon monoxide is observed and uh, also in uh, United States of America, we have uh, yellow and slightly reddish and green uh, level of concentration is observed. So red is the highest, yellow is the second most and green is the third most level of concentration. So here in this, in this area, towards the towards the eastern part of uh, United States. Let me turn this layer. So we have started in the beginning. We have seen the the effects of carbon monoxide. That is, the highest level of people living in this uh, highest level of concentration may face several uh, health uh, health illness because uh, the concentration is very high in this region. Let me uh, turn this layer off. Go to satellite mode. So basically this is how you can able to access and visualize the global carbon monoxide data using our earth engine. So in this video I have shown you how to import the Sentinel 5P NRTI CO that is real time carbon monoxide data into earth engine and how to set the visualization parameter and how to add the center of a layer and also see the overall concentration of carbon monoxide across our globe. So thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.